So um, Bonwick is much more, uh, the, for those, Jeff Bonwick is better known as the, uh, the inventor of the ZFS file system, uh, superlative software engineer, I've worked with Jeff for many, many years. Jeff is much more predator than prey on, in, the, in the software landscape. Jeff has ripped out much, much more code than, uh, than code of his has been ripped out. Indeed, I think I'm the only person to really rip out a substantial amount of Bonwick code. And I was hell-bent on doing it because what I wanted to do, what, in terms of Lockstat in particular, I wanted to re-implement Lockstat I want to re-implement the way that Lockstat instruments the system, which, by the way, uses dynamic instrumentation. It dynamically instruments synchronization primitives. I want to re-implement that as a dtrace provider and re-implement the, the, the Lockstat command as a dtrace consumer. And then I could take this body of work that he'd done in the middle and I could rip it out, um, which is what I did. But I needed, to, I needed to invent aggregations in order to do it because a lot, of, a lot of what he was doing was effectively an aggregating operation. But he wasn't just doing counts. He was doing something more interesting. He was actually looking at the distribution of data, which we can also do with aggregations. And so let's do, let's see if, let's get a little bit adventurous here. What I'm going to do is, uh, with my apologies for doing it on the command line here, um, I'm going to set a thread local variable to be the timestamp. And then on syscall return, if self at ts is set, I want to aggregate on, let's do aggregate on a probe func, which will be the system call name. And I want a power of two distribution of the amount of wall time that that system call took. Hey now. What's your problem? Is there, what's that? Where's the double equal? Where's the brace? Thank you. There it is. Thank you. God, that is, that's, that's rare. That's normally, I'm, that's normally the animal brain that types that. Thank you very much. Um, so if I run that and control C, what I'm going to get is some ASCII art. M more of what God intended. <laughs> uh, actually, this is interesting. Look at that, huh? Yeah, uh, that's very interesting. So we're seeing a, um, <laughs> And in terms of visualizing dtrace, so the, this was our first experience developing these little at sign ASCII art histograms, which, by the way, I shamelessly stole from the lockstat command itself. So if you use lockstat uh, on Solaris, use lockstat on Solaris 2.6, um, that is where these, these histograms, the, the, the little ASCII art, the, the little at sign notation came from. I made them a little bit wider and cleaned them up a little bit, but that's basically where they came from. And I, I realized even with the primor primordial visualization that we had in Lockstat, and then again re-implementing that in Dtrace, that this visualization allows you to see things so quickly that you can't otherwise see. Right? I mean, like, just look at what we've done here in terms of poll. Now, I could have traced out every timestamp the, the amount of time that we spent in poll, but how quickly would we have seen that trimodal distribution? Right? That's going to be pretty hard to see with the numbers. Right? You, you, what you would probably see is this. You'd probably be able to draw that inference. Maybe you'd pick up this guy. I don't think you're picking up this. I think your brain is going to put that in this bucket, which is to say longer than this stuff, <laughs> right? Um, I'm sorry. Don't do that. Um, so this was our first experience visualizing Dtrace. Uh, and again, this is in Dtrace itself. This is not, um, this is not an add-on to Dtrace. And if you've used Dtrace to solve your problems, you use aggregations, quantize aggregating action all the time. You use it very, very frequently. Why do you use it so frequently? Because it allows you to do things that you can't otherwise do. It allows you to engage your visual cortex. Ah, uh, the visual cortex. Very powerful thing. Thank God we're chimps at the end of the day. Um, and we, we, can, we can leverage the fact that we want to, you know, seek food and mates and so on to actually, uh, I, guess, I guess actually maybe using Dtrace often is just a more elaborate way of seeking food, certainly, probably not mates, though. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you have to let me know on that one. If that, if that actually, if that works out, definitely, uh, definitely keep me posted. I think, my, I, th I think my wife would say that Dtrace is not an aphrodisiac, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> I uh, tried reading, uh, reading the manual aloud. Try, try doing that to, to, uh, to your spouse or loved one. Leave that, let's just see if that works. Let me know. Um, but it will help you seek food, I think. But, uh, but that's about it, maybe. Um, so th 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 this was uh, a real eye-opener for us. 
And by the time we got Dtrace, I would say roughly done, not that Dtrace is completely finished, um, but we started on Dtrace in the, the, the fall of 2001, uh, and uh, our initial integration to Solaris was the fall of 2003, uh, shipped to customers in early 2005, open source in early 2006. So by 2005, mid-2005, uh, Dtrace was pretty well baked. Um, we, I was no longer tracking inside of Sun when people would use Dtrace to solve problems because we were using it all the time to solve all sorts of problems inside of Sun. Um, people had used Dtrace a lot to solve problems outside of Sun, uh, which was, uh, again, a real eye-opener um, for me. I think that it was the first time, Dtrace was the first time that we in the operating system were able to deliver really good news to you as opposed to just less bad news. Right, if you think about it, like, what can an operating system do? Once an operating system basically works, it can really only not screw up. Right? It can only like, not panic, not corrupt your data, not suck, what have you. Right? You don't come in every morning and be like, oh, thank you, operating system, for having run through the night with such low load. Like, you're great. You're like, no, screw you for panicking. Right? Um, but with Dtrace, we could actually give you some good news in the operating system. We allow you to actually solve your problems, um, which has been uh, enormously empowering. But that was the state of Dtrace in 2005, 2006. And we wanted to go do, I wanted to go do a lot more. I wanted to go, this to me was the, the, just the very, very tip, tip, tip of the iceberg in terms of what we could do to engage the visual cortex to solve a problem. And the other thing that I wanted to deal with that, that I was a bit uncomfortable with, or just uncomfortable with, but a, a reality of Dtrace is that it, it, th this arbitrary power implies the programming language, right? The, and some people, oh God, not under the programming language. It's like, well, you're not writing a program exactly. And this is, this is roughly, I mean, it's, it's very kind of awkish style syntax, right? So it's an easy language to learn, and I think that if you're, for folks in this room, it's, it would be no problem to pick up D, which is the language of Dtrace. By the way, a little story on, uh, on that, by the way. So um, you may look at this and say, like, God, this looks a, this looks a lot like awk. And um, speaking of other things that God intended, um, it, it, we were very much, we, we were directly inspired by awk. Um, you know, I assume that we're all systems guys here, right? I'm that system guys and girls. We're not I don't know, I assume that no compiler folks snuck in here. I know that they were checking at the door, they had a pretty serious security detail, they were asking you the difference between various parsers and then, and then taking you out back if you actually knew the answer. Um, so I, 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 I assume that everyone, that everyone LALR parser, I don't know, I took my compiler class too many years ago, I don't give a shit. The, so I assume that that, that, that is the, that's, that's the room here. Because you know what, as systems folks, we love awk, right? I love Auk. What? Yeah, 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 there we go. Except, wow, this is like a support group. I don't know. They, I, yeah, I guess Auk has been a, a, been a little bit beaten down, maybe. What the thing about Auk is like, man, Auk just, Auk just always gets the job done, right? It, it does what it does. It is the true Unix philosophy. It is, it is simple. It, it does what it does. It's simple, but it's very powerful. You can use it on the command line all the time. I use, I use Auk probably three, four, five, 20 times a day, right? I use awk a lot. You, you use awk probably a lot too. And even with the presence of Perl and so on, awk still has got a very powerful place, right? Um, well, here's something that you probably don't know. Compiler folks hate awk. You're like, what? What? Hate awk? It's like hate food. I mean, you can, you can hate certain kinds of food, but if you just flat out hate food, you die. I mean, so that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Compiler people, hate awk. Why? Because compiler people are freaking bureaucrats. And the idea that you can just have a variable without declaring it, you can't just have a variable, go stand in line. <laughs> go to window 13. They're going to give you a ticket. You take that to window 5, you bring that ticket to me, and I give you a variable when I know what type it is. <laughs> it's like, well, you know what? I don't know. You're a computer. You figure it out. You figure out what type it is. Why do I have to go through all this bureaucratic nonsense to get a goddamn variable? <laughs> so this is the beauty of awk, the power of awk. And, and by the way, D, we, we modeled very much D on awk, and so we, we try to get the compiler out of your way. It's trying to help you, not hurt you, not, not like read you the riot act on, on static variable declaration. Um, and I, so I, it's funny, because when we actually went in front of our architectural review inside of Sun, the, uh, the architectural review board, of course, I mean, it's, it's a bureaucratic process, so of course it's packed with Compiler people, I mean, come on. Come on, they love a bureaucracy. So the architectural review board packed with compiler people. So we go in front of, the, of, of PSARC and we're talking about what we're doing and, and one of the guys is like, oh, I don't know. This looks a lot like awk to me. <laughs> it's like, wow, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm flattered. I, I really, I, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, did you mean that as an insult? Oh, no. So anyway, 